Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure to welcome you all to the Rock Hill Sports and Entertainment Complex, Rock Hill, South Carolina. Tomorrow night, it all goes down. It is BYB 21 live, 8 p.m. Eastern. You can catch it live and free in the U.S. and Canada in both English and Spanish and BN Sports Extra. Elsewhere, you can catch it on BYBBareKnuckle.tv or for all other ways to watch. Make sure you go to BYBExtreme.com forward slash watch. All being brought to you by our sponsors, Buy Silk Clothing, The Fight Doctors, and GC3. Ladies and gentlemen, before they can enter the mighty Trigon tomorrow night, first, they must overcome the scales we welcome. Our first bout to the stage. Set for five rounds in the light heavyweight division. First to make his way to the scale. Fighting out of Hot Springs, Arkansas. Please welcome Trevor, the man, Blackie Chan, Allison weighing in. Again, ladies and gentlemen, set for five rounds or less of bare knuckle action. The official weight, 174.9 for Allison. 174.9. Standing across the mighty trigon tomorrow night, fighting out of Madison, Wisconsin, by way of Chicago, Illinois, please welcome the savage Cub Hawkins on the scale. A ripped and ready 175.6, the official weight for Hawkins. Again, it kicks off the action inside the mighty Trigon. It is BYB 21, live. 8 p.m. Eastern, you can catch it on BN Sports Extra for all other ways to watch. BYBExtreme.com forward slash watch. Allison, Hawkins, five rounds or less in the light heavyweight division. Our next contest, five round super lightweight division. Please welcome to the scale. It is tragic Trevor Morris weighing in. One thirty eight point six for the fighter out of Knoxville, Tennessee. One thirty eight point six. Fighting out of Charlotte, North Carolina, by way of Makaha, Hawaii, please welcome the untamable John Bernard on the scale. One forty point two, the official weight for Bernard, one forty point two. Again, ladies and gentlemen, this is our second bout to enter the mighty Trigon, five rounds or less. Super lightweight division. It is Morris versus Bernard. Our next contest, five rounds, middleweight division, fighting out of Westchester, Ohio. Please welcome Jimmy Sandstorm Sandlin on the scale. One fifty six, the official weight for Sandlin, one five six. His opposition out of Clearwater, Florida, please welcome the pit bull, Henry Williams on the scale. One fifty five point three, the official weight for Williams, one five five point three. Our third bout to see action tomorrow night inside the mighty Trigon. <laughs> Sandlin Williams, five rounds or less, middleweight division. We continue with the action this bout, five round super fly weight division. Out of Wichita, Kansas, please welcome Jessica Link on the scale.
115.1, the official weight for Link, 115.1. Her opponent, out of Los Angeles, California, Agnesa Spitfire, Kirakosian weighing in. One fourteen point nine, the official weight for the Spitfire. Again, ladies and gentlemen, five round super flyweight division. Will the Spitfire continue her hot streak, or will Jessica Link extinguish her winning ways tomorrow night inside the mighty Trigon? Five rounds or less, super flyweight division. Our next bout to weigh in, five round super middleweights fighting out of Dillon, Montana. Please welcome Eric Lopez on the scale. <laughs> 167, the official weight for Lights Out Lopez, 167. Next to weigh in from Sucre, Venezuela, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, El Legado de Dios, the Legacy of God, Gregory Cisnero on the scale. Co-featured bout of the evening tomorrow night set for five rounds in the super lightweight division for the Ciudad de Mexico de F. El Diamante. Carlos Guerra weighing in. <laughs> 141, the official weight for the Mexican out of La Capital Azteca. El Diamante Guerra. His opposition from Birmingham, Alabama, the Annihilator, Anthony Reddick weighing in. One forty point one for the Annihilator for our co featured bout tomorrow night. Again, ladies and gentlemen, see it live and free in the US and Canada in both English and Spanish on B in Sports Extra. Elsewhere. BYBBareKnuckle.tv also for more ways to watch. BYBExtreme.com forward slash watch. Here's our co feature Guerra, Reddick, ready to go at it inside the mighty Trigon. 114.1. We welcome to the scale our main event on the line, the BYB World Heavyweight Championship. First, the step on the scale, the challenger, hailing from Dallas, Texas, and rep in Newton, North Carolina, the Daywalker, Rashad Coulter weighing in. Two fifty nine point five for the Daywalker. The defending champion from Wairika, California, DJ, the protege, Linderman, on the scale. 253.7 for the defending champ. 253.7 again on the line tomorrow night. Six rounds heavyweight division is the BYB World Heavyweight Strap. Will it be and still or and the new? It is our main event. BYB 21. First bout 8 p.m. Eastern. You can catch it on BN Sports Extra. This is our main event.
Again, ladies and gentlemen, catch it live and free tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern is our first bout to make its way inside the mighty Trigon, both in English and in Spanish, and be in sports.com. Also, you can watch it on BYBBareKnuckle.tv and for other ways to watch, it is BYBExtreme.com forward slash watch. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to turn it over to one of the most recognizable sports figures and the voice of BYB Extreme. Please welcome Mr. Mike Goldberg to the stage. How's everybody doing? No, I, I, I could be like, uh, I could be like in a band right now. How's everybody doing? Hey, it's great to be back here in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Seven great battles inside the mighty Trigon tomorrow. We expect fireworks. We have a belt on the line. As you know, we will talk to our main event fighters in a moment. But the one thing that our Hall of Fame matchmaker Mel Valenzuela does he always sets up a matchup to start things in style. And this is that matchup. Light heavyweights will start the night off. It is the man, Blackie Chan, Trevor Olison, and Cub the Savage Hawkins. Good to see you guys both. You gotta use that microphone, Cub. Cub is a savage fighter, but you seem to be so quiet and soft-spoken, and you're gonna do that to me again. No, it sucks that uh, that I got to come out here and have him on my front page. Um, from his performance last, his last performance, that shit sucked. And uh, for me to have to take that poster home and be right next to him on that on that picture, that sucks. Uh, I'm fighting a bum, and he's mentally weak, and I'm gonna leave it to that. I don't know if I need to have a question. It's all yours. So, so I guess the I get to address the man, the yes, savage. Yes, indeed, you know, the Cubs, savage. So on, so on, so on, so, so, what, who the fuck is this guy? Anyway, like, I don't give a damn. I mean, like I said before, I was at I was at the cloning center. There's so many, you know, talents in this man right here that they try to kidnap me and clone me. So now I'm back. All right, we're gonna see a different version of this. All right, we done seen me get some highlight reel. You know, I'm smooth. I'm hard to hit and. I don't care how he want to do this, it's going to get done, you know? It might get done in the first, it might get done in the second, but it's going to get done. And, uh, yeah, I'm cool, man. He was hit I two was times. Hit. I was hit. How many, he was how hit many two times, times hit? fell to the ground. How many times you was hit? Ro ro rolled how many times over. You got hit? Huh? Was not even hurt, and hey, he went. Hey, this ain't even real, though, because you get so close to me while we stand out the way. And front of in front of everybody and on the biggest stage. On the biggest, because I'm the man. But that was a clone, though. Hey, a clone. A clone, homie. There is something clone. new about what you, though. What, what's what's the story with this collar. necklace? What is it's it? It's a dog collar, yeah, man. What is it about? It's unleashed, bro. I'm unleashed, bro. When they take this collar off, yeah, after I whoop his ass, y'all better put the collar back on me. Sounds the good. The in danger. Sounds good. The, 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 the Whoever's standing behind me, you know what I'm saying? I might jump out somebody in the crowd. Y'all better throw this collar back on the boy. I'm going to be foaming at the mouth and shit. But you said it's not your Rampage Jackson. No, it's not no Rampage Jackson. This is something totally different. This it is totally unleashed. different. It's Jet Li's Unleashed, you know what I'm saying? Well, I will tell you this. This man right here, Cub Hawkins, two wins in a combined time of three minutes and 38 seconds. You told us a couple hours ago, Cub, that we haven't seen your grit inside the Trigon, but you have a ton of it, don't you? Yeah. I've smacked the last two in the first round, and uh, 
So no, I haven't showed my grit because I haven't made it past the first round. I haven't made it past the dog fight. I've been there. Uh, That's so funny. I was there the same place you was. I was, and, <laughs> Mr. Savage, sir. To see it go past the second, that'd be a good train. That'd hurt me. You know, I, I told them that would that would hurt me because he has nothing to wear. I'm a bum. Exactly. And then you would get and slaughtered it, by a bum. What would that make a savage? Sounds good. What would that make a savage? That would never question. happen. I would die before that would happen. You nah. would die. Well, he did say that. Cub did say, Trevor, that if it goes deep into the fight with you, God he will be it. disappointed. Um, I'm sure you don't. Uh, you don't love that comment. You probably don't agree with it. I mean, that's how you feel. I mean, I can't do nothing about it. There is a 1-800 prevention hotline for those who have needs, you know, like that, who, you know, need to seek help. You got folks for that. All right. The last fight did not go your way. Yeah, it didn't go his but way. But talking, talking to you earlier in the fighter meetings, you said you live, you learn, you roll over, mm -hmm. and you try again. So how is right. your mental state? I, I'm pretty good, you know, as good as it can be. I mean, delusional. You know. Yeah, you got to be delusional. Ain't that right? Everybody that's great, you know, has that phase. I got to be delusional. I got to be crazy. That's why I've been doing this for like 12, almost 13 years now. So I'm a bum. All right. There's a bum against a savage. Yeah. But you like to stay calm in there, Cub. You said that you're going to do what you're going to do, and the counterpunch is always something that you relish. Yeah, if he comes in thinking he's the man, Blackie Chan, okay, the counterpunch is going to be there. If he wants to sit back and be a bum and, and – I'll be that savage then. Either, either way, wherever it wants to go, I'm there. Uh, so it is what it is. It's the counter versus the counter counter? Yes, man. It's the king of the counters, bro. It's, it's the CKCK, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh. my day, boy. I'm excited. Trigon's right there if you guys just want to get started. I'm hype. It's, it's almost set up, ain't it? Yeah, it is. Woo! Shit, All right, they will get us started tomorrow in. night. Cub Hawkins, 2-0, Trevor Olison, 2-1, starting in style tomorrow night inside the Mighty Trigon. Thank you, guys. What's up? Thanks, Cub. All right, we got another Trevor that we're excited to see inside the Trigon. It's a super lightweight fight, and we want to bring up John Bernard, the Hawaiian Trevor Morris, tragic Trevor Morris. This would be Trevor Morris. This would be the fine Hawaiian. Untamable John, and John, we'll start with you. You and I were talking about the west side of Oahu and uh, the former UFC featherweight champion, Max Holloway, my good buddy, Yancey Medeiros. You got that just scrap mentality, undoubtedly, right? Absolutely. I got that just scrap on, um, on, on Pat, man. Um, we've um patent that just scrap you know max and i max is from my old gym so what you see with max is what you get with me i'm the mini miniature version in fact i kind of formed his style you know i started i brought him into our team and um you know what you see with max is exactly what i do you know on a a, a different level that that is that is a, a high comparison considering the striking skills we've seen from Max Holloway and what you plan on bringing tomorrow night against this man Trevor Morris. Absolutely, you know this is bare knuckle, so it's a slight, uh, it's a little different. You know, um, I'm tr I'm gonna try to kind of bring that Max Holloway as you guys normally see, but in bare knuckle. As everyone know that this is a different sport. Yep. Um, but I try to bring that same type of uh, degree of um, pressure. Um, counters, combinations, staying on his ass. I'm going to do that. You know, I'm going to do that. I'm going to give him all. I would say that's very similar to what you talked to us about earlier, Trevor. You said aggressive, ferocious, soul snatching, and you've been proving people wrong since about age 16. We're excited to see you make your debut inside the Mighty Trigon. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I mean, this fight, we're going to be in our face the entire time. Uh, there's not going to be any running. There's not going to be any going to a corner. I mean, we are going to go in there. We're going to throw our fucking hands. We're going to get in there. We're going to get some shit done. It's going to be bloody. And if I don't get stitches before I fucking leave, I'm going to be pissed. And we're going to have to do something in the back. So let's fucking make that shit happen. <laughs> so there is some mutual respect, and you guys know you're going to bite down on the mouthpiece and put on a show. Oh, absolutely. You're like J.D. Burns uh, all over again. Better. My blood, your Better. blood, there's going to be blood, right? Better. 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 <laughs> I like that. Hey, 
You're moving into the Trigon, and you talked about the corners and how it benefits your style. Talk a little bit about your excitement to be competing tomorrow night on the smallest surface in combat sports. I mean, I feel like, uh, you know, like with the corners, I mean, switching off from a ring, I mean, this benefits, I mean, us guys who are pressure fighters, I mean, that's, that's fucking bread and butter. Get them in there, beat the fuck out of them. You know, that's that's what needs to be done. I, if you're not doing that, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Proud, scrappy Hawaiian, but last two years, you and your girls, your family have lived in Charlotte, North Carolina, so this is a home game for you, isn't it? This is a home game. I got a lot of uh, support that I've acquired here. My, I call it the North Carolina um, Ohana, if you guys know I what love that it. is. That's family. So I got a lot of family that's coming out here to support and see what I bring to the table, you know, and I get to show myself out and really put on a shirt. Are you, are you walking out to the uh, Moana theme song? <laughs> We'll see, we'll see. I mean, you should. <laughs> we'll see. I, I think it'd be sick. <laughs> Alima Lay McFarland knows how to make an entrance. Yeah. As a proud Hawaiian, we know that. Absolutely, absolutely. We know that. John, you're a proud father. Mm -hmm. You said your daughters are in a great space. They're in a safe space. They're in great schools. And now you've been able to be selfish. And, and I know you would agree, Trevor, you have to be selfish to be successful as a fighter, but everything as a family man is in place so you're able to focus 100%. Correct, yeah, so all my ducks are in a row, my family's all good. Um, now I can focus, dive into this sport all in and actually really um, not worry about the home at all, you know, and that's what allows me to perform at the highest capacity I can, is knowing that my kids are good, my family is straight, now I can come in here and put some rocks on people's face, you know, so that's pretty fun. In Rock Hill. In Rock Hill. I might that's use right. that in the open. Thank <laughs> Let's you. Go. Thank you, Paulie Magic Man, we're going to use that in the open. <laughs> knowing you have a willing opponent in your first match up here inside the Trigon, Trevor. That excites you that you have a guy similar to you that's going to bite down on the mouthpiece, as I said earlier, and, and scrap. You love that, don't you? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. It, you know, we both, and I highly respect him just because, like, we're both coming from the same thing. We both have a job. We're both working. We're both being dads. Like, that's, that's what we're doing. And we're coming in here to put on a fucking hell of a show. And at the same time, this is a business. My, Am I wrong? Absolutely. No. This is a business. This is a business, and I feel like, uh, you know, for myself, and I feel like John would agree, you know, uh, doing this for our kids is something for them to look up to, you know, so. You have your uh, three beautiful sons. Yep. You have your three beautiful daughters. <laughs> yeah. Are they all going to yeah. be watching? Everybody going to be watching? No, the kids they, ain't watching? Wa they ain't watching. <laughs> Dad, Daddy gets <laughs> violent. When, I, when, I, when I'm fighting for that title, then maybe they'll be able to watch for sure. Right. That sounds good. Any last message to your opponent tomorrow night? I'll just bring it. You know, you're going to you're, you're entering the Trigon and I'm definitely going to hold my um, my um, excitement in that ring. You know, it, there's nowhere to run. There's nowhere to hide. So we're going to put on a show for sure. My sparring has been all done in half of that size in a triangle. So I think I'll be fucking fine. Yeah. Tragic you, was given to you by one of your coaches, right? Your nickname? Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. So I was tragically knocking motherfuckers out. <laughs> and just by the way, if you need a tattoo, he's got you because yep. he's done most of his just own name. No ink. ass tats. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a great fight tomorrow night. Mutual respect. Two men who are going to leave it all in the Trigon. A big hand for Trevor Morris, John Bernard. Thanks, hey, John. All right, let's get to it. Our main event of the evening. Who does not like a heavyweight scrap, especially one where the title is on the line and the first defense of the title is in the hands of our champion. Here is the champion, DJ Linderman. Here is the challenger, Rashad Coulter. Big hand for both of these men. All right, champ, let's start with you. You've never done this before. This will just be the 51st <laughs> professional combat competition tomorrow night. Hell yeah. You excited? Hell yeah. All right, let, let, me, let me get a little more out of you like you gave us earlier. Other than hell yeah, because that's kind of WWE. Unless you want to get one more hell yeah out. Hell yeah. <laughs> You're reinvigorated by, by winning the title. You've come in 10 pounds lighter than before. You said you were going to retire about four or five years ago. That's no longer in the plans. You're, 
you're reborn as a combat athlete, aren't you? Definitely, yeah. Since, since I came to Bare Knuckle, you know, I've been reborn. I'm a whole new fighter. I keep dropping the weight, keep me getting in better shape. My coach came back with me. It's us against the world right now. 17 years you've been with your coach, huh? Yeah, yep, 17 hard-working years. A lot of hard work for you, too, Daywalker. 2-0 and inside the Trigon. You had a great football career. You're proud of your boys yep, playing football. Yep. You also said, I may have moved to Dallas, Texas from Newton, North Carolina at age 12, but this is still your backyard, right? It's still my city, baby. You know, we not too far from up the road. Um, but, yeah, man, North Carolina is my home. You talked about DJ and you had good things to say about him. Tough, durable, obviously a veteran. But you mentioned that his toughness might be a downfall. What do you mean by that? Sometimes, man, just us as fighters, man, we've all seen some fighters just too tough for their own good. But I know he's coming in with a good game plan. Um, man, this dude, I've been watching this dude fight before I even decided to fight. You know, I mean, I've had my first fight in 2011. So I know he's game and I know he's ready. But I just really believe that sometimes, man, some, some people might be just too tough for their own good. It's interesting that he says that, DJ, because you said, and again, I don't, want to, I don't want to be in the middle of the battle. I'll let the battle be tomorrow night. We'll be on the outside getting blood on us. Paulie will be covered up and be safe. But you talked about that you're not sure that Rashad is a deep water guy. And so that's what you want to do. You want to smother him and take him into the deep waters. Definitely. Like, if you watch his fights, he's never made it to the deep, and uh, he's in a sink pretty fast. <laughs> That's good, man. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but listen, man, I mean, I, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, you only fight as long as your fights last. Right. You know, but your whole training camp, you prepare to go into deep waters. Uh, I go into deep waters, I'm gritty. I'm a dog, man. I'm telling you, I'm a dog, bro. And you're a day walker. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a dog, dog. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you now, I am a dog. So it doesn't matter how deep we go. You know, I box six round boxing fights all the time, you know, and um, don't, don't let uh, the past fights fool you. Don't let the past fights fool you. I mean, what you see is what you see but that ain't the same fight that you're going to get tomorrow night. You talked about, DJ, not only the respect that you have for Rashad, but being part of this historic chapter of bare-knuckle boxing is part of what has reinvigorated you. I mean, the, the fact that this sport is ready to take over. Yeah, definitely. Just being part of this historic factor of bare-knuckle boxing, you know, it's going to be bigger than anything else out there. And... Uh, it just drives me harder and harder in this game, and uh, it feels like it's making me younger. <laughs> Both of you feel that way, because Rashad, you had said to us in the past, you're happy not to worry about leg kicks and takedowns anymore, aren't you? Man, let me tell you. Because, <laughs> you know, everybody, everybody knows this. If, if you have hands and if you can box, everybody want to turn into a wrestler. Yep. And everybody want to kick your legs, and everybody like, nah, man, like people came to see a fight. Like, when we sign up to fight, we come to fight. Don't nobody want to do kicking and hugging and, and all that wrestling. Man, let's fight. So that's what I'm proud about. I'm proud about just being in there, man, and just getting the opportunity to, to get the fans what they really, really want to see. And I really feel in my heart, every time I get in there to fight, I am a crowd pleaser. People know when Rashad fights, it's must-see TV. I want to compliment both you guys. I want to start with you, Rashad. You're big on giving back. You're, you're big on being motivational. You, you speak to many groups. You speak sure. to youngsters. You speak to your peers. You spoke at a prison yeah. recently, and, and you had a message to the men in there that this does not have to be the last stop. Correct. Um, yeah, I man, I speak to kids in school. I speak to prisoners. I speak to kids in alternatives. I was just in Fresno, California a couple of weeks ago, and I just want everybody to make sure, man, that they know that Man, this is just a pit stop. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes, man, God got to sit you down because he can't hear you when you're out here in the real world. And I be want the people to understand it's locked up. Like, hey, man, this is, this is a pit stop for you. Use this opportunity while you're sitting down to reinvent yourself. Think about your mistakes that you made. Because every day we wake up, 
we're given two things. That's a chance and a choice. And I tell them that you know that you got a chance because you got me here talking to you. So let's talk about your choices, man. So going forth, man, we need to make better choices, better, be better fathers, be better just human beings, period. Because the world is, the world is gonna make you pick a side, right? But even though the world makes you pick a side, you can always be the best version of yourself that you can be. That doesn't mean I gotta hate somebody. That doesn't mean I gotta hate somebody because of their race, because of their religion, because of whatever the case may be. Just be a good human being, bro. Like, just be a good person. And that's what I try to convey to the world. I've been in combat sports for 25 years. Rashad, I love your outlook. You, you've shared that outlook since day one. Yeah. I understand it, I've witnessed it, and DJ, you talk about, you know, the natural Randy Couture being one of the greatest influences in your fighting career. I mean, there's a guy who basically, basically has the same mindset for martial arts and competition as Rashad has, and of course, as you have. So your thoughts on what he just said about giving back and being a true sportsman that's gonna go and compete hard, but being a true sportsman and, and a figure that others can look up to. You know, I think it's great, everything he does outside this cage, that, that's awesome. I, I love giving back, I love training kids, you know, uh, er, everything uh, drives me, like uh, like he was saying, you know, making speeches, tell, telling everybody, hey, this is just a pit stop. It, it, it is, it's really just a pit stop. I was locked up, my coach was locked up, and we, it, this sport, and combat sports itself has pushed us forward and gave us a whole new chance. You saved your life. Yes, it did. It saved my life. And uh, I, I, I want to help others just as he is doing, and uh, it's, it's going to be great to do it. Final thoughts from you, champ. Is he a pit stop or is he a full couple laps tomorrow night? It's going to be one hell of a fight. That's all I got to say about that. Daywalker? Yeah, man. Um, you know me. Go I do. Man. I do. I, I don't. I don't. I don't never talk trash to my opponents or about my opponents. I respect everybody, but just tune in, man. I'm telling you right now, I'm ready. It's gonna be a good fight, and it's gonna be a whole lot of laying on the hands without Jesus, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a big round of applause for the champion, the challenger, heavyweight main event, and and I went with the theme with both Rashad and DJ because I want the world to know that this is a martial art. Bare knuckle boxing is a martial art and these are good men who go in there and leave it all on the line. So do not miss BYB 21 tomorrow night. Thank you everybody. Thank you, brother. You're the man. Appreciate you.